right, it is 4.30 in the morning on the first day of me starting to record my life and I can't be too loud because I don't want to wake my brother. Let's get on with this day. I make my bed every morning because of the book Make Your Bed by Admiral McRaven, which says, if you make your bed every morning, you have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride, and it will encourage you to do another task, and another, and another. By the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you will never be able to do the big things right. Alright, bed made, and now go to workout. Is it gone? Similarly to making your bed, working out has many delayed gratifications to it. But working out has many other mental benefits, like putting yourself through controlled pain and discomfort. The truth is, most good things are hard at first. The results may come years down the road, in some cases, even longer. I believe that our culture has confused comfort with happiness. All right, just finished my workout right over here. Now let's get ready for the day with some meditation and breathing exercises. Personally, I am using the Wim Hof breathing method. Wim Hof may be some crazy guy who likes to sit on ice all day, but to help your blood become healthier, to help you become healthier, and just for the overall sense of wellness, that's why I'm doing it. All right, now that that's done, let's take a cold shower and get ready for today, what today's day holds. Let's go. All right, cold shower done. Now let's go get dressed for school today. Now, I just wanted to show that this house, I'm not living in alone. I live with an entire family. We leave a mess everywhere half the time and I'm just gonna record what my actual life is, not trying to gloss it up or make it very nice, but just really down to the bare bones of what it actually is. Sorry, I had to be quieter there. My parents and baby sister are asleep down there. And this is my room. I really like it, and my little brother is sleeping up there. All right, I'm all ready for school, and yes, I do wear a suit to school every single day. It is not very typical. I go to a small private school, but yeah, people are always surprised to see me walk into a store after school or anything in a full suit and you can always tell they're looking like why is this teenager wearing a suit it's always hilarious if you can't tell i take the phrase dress for success very seriously people always make their first impression on you when they see you not when you open your mouth so make it very good all right now Let's grab some breakfast and make lunch for school. Alright, for lunch, we got some leftover pizza, some chicken, and a poached egg that I made yesterday. 
I think I'm gonna eat for breakfast, probably a protein shake and some of these delicious egg muffin things I made yesterday. Lunch is made right here. And now let's make some breakfast. All right, I'm gonna make my protein shake right now after the workout. I use whey protein, some peanut butter, milk, heavy whipping cream, cocoa powder, and frozen bananas. Makes a really, really good protein shake. While I do all this, I like to listen to stuff. Right now I am listening to a uh, School of Greatness episode, episode uh, 691 with Kobe, Kobe Bryan. It's a very good episode. I just always love to be listening, always love to be learning. I never want to stop. So I often get in trouble for not doing anything, but just learning the entire time. All right, just finished the shake and I'm gonna clean up and get eating. I have started to journal while I eat. Journaling is a new practice where I write down things I'm excited about for the day, things I'm grateful for about today, yesterday, and just in life in general. It's something I've started because a lot of highly successful people do it, and it's a way to record what you're thinking. Books you can buy, but experiences, memories, and everything else that you can write down, you can't. Your thought process is extremely unique, and I have recently started to record it. It was not always like this, but over the past few weeks, I have been journaling very consistently. It's brought a lot more clarity and I'm able to link a lot more thoughts together. A few of my family members are up, but the rest of them are still asleep. My baby sister just woke up, took her down to my mom, and my mom asked if I could fulfill some orders on Shopify. So I'm going to get that done and then head off to school in a few minutes. All right, just finished all the orders and now I got to get out to school because I'm about to be late. So got to go. It's going to be a great day. All right, just getting back from school, had an amazing day, math, philosophy, science, just the classic stuff. Changed, got out of the suit so I don't get dirty and gotta get working on homework. I got a lot of Latin, I got a bio test tomorrow and probably a few other things that I forgot and that I will regret tomorrow morning, but gotta get to homework, so. Now I know that doesn't sound like most people's homework load. I go to a small classical school where from fifth grade on you learn Latin. I'm currently in my second to last year of Latin. Philosophy comes in a class called Humane Letters, which is a combination of history and literature and writing all in one and you talk about very deep things all the time. The discussions are definitely the best. I was just going through the new Latin vocab and I came across a word that its meaning felt like it meant something very special. The word was um, sentio, sentinere, sensi, sentus. And it means to realize and understand. And when I saw that, I just thought, when we sense things, we're supposed to understand them, to realize they're there. And through our senses, we understand the entire world around us. And all the experiences and all the feelings that come with it, it all comes through our senses and we understand our senses. Just found that interesting. For most of the afternoon, I am doing homework or chores or other things like that. It sounds like a very typical 
kids day because it is i do homework a lot and i'm glad because when you're doing homework you're learning and when you're learning you're growing because as the quote says you're either green and growing or dead and dying i personally think i'm too young to start dying and i hope i never do start dying because as soon as someone stops learning or working or doing something their body deteriorates so so fast because we're made to work, we're made to learn, we're made to enjoy the life that we have. If you can't tell by now, I'm not your average teenager. I don't spend any time playing video games. I only watch shows and movies one day a week. I try to be as productive as possible because when you're young is the best time to learn how to, to work in the future, how to do great things, and that's my goal. I just had to pause my homework for a while because my family got home. I went and spent time with my three sisters and my brother and just helped get dinner ready. So right now it's 613, 613, yeah. And I still have to study for a bio test, read, practice guitar. So it's going to be up a little bit longer. I love to cook. Cooking has been an outlet of relaxation for me for a long time. My family loves it. My mom especially does because she gets to take that time to be with my dad or with the baby or do other things. And I also get to control what I eat. I don't conform to any diet, but I like to eat healthy in some way. All right, just finished dinner with the family. Everyone's pulling up to finish up some things and I'm gonna work on my guitar for a while. I just started guitar a few weeks ago and it's been so fun. I used to do piano, but that always felt dull and boring. But guitar is, you're able to take it anywhere. It's not confined to one space and everyone can enjoy it. There's not any one given style that you have to conform to to learn the notes, to learn how to play. I just finished guitar and I'm gonna go take a, another cold shower to help me get ready for bed and try to be in bed in the next 30 minutes and read until I fall asleep. Just finished a cold shower and now I'm going to read until i go to bed this is the tools of titans by tim ferris i love all of his books he's an incredible author but i have to be kind of quiet because my little brother is asleep again and yeah let's get reading about three weeks ago i started ordering books left and right I started becoming obsessed with learning as much as possible from as many sources as possible because books are an amazing way to get a summary of a person's life and all their experiences in a short amount of time. And as the proverb says, the foolish uh, do not learn from their own mistakes. Normal people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from others. All right, just finished reading and... I am going to head to bed. I will see you again tomorrow morning at 4.30. Good night.